<laughs> well, like every week it seems to get a bit better and they, uh, <laughs> they cover it over properly. <laughs> but, um, what is it? An arts and crafts centre. It would be. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> yeah. God, didn't it? Like, all angles and. Yeah. You can also rent rooms in there, I think, if you wanted to stay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, yeah. There's going to be a restaurant in there and um, paper making demonstrations, that sort of thing. <laughs> they used to have, do you remember the old containers they used to have there? It used, it used to just, I must have seen them because yeah. I come in here by boat. Oh right, right. Um, and uh, one time we missed the, the lot five. Right. Know, an hour or something. Oh, how annoying. So we had to tie up at the wall outside. Oh dear. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I remember climbing up the ladder to go to the fishing chip shop. <laughs> All right, get some food, yeah. Yeah, and um, it, there was other it, yachts missed out. Yeah. And they wouldn't climb the ladder, so I had all these orders for fishing chips. Oh, yes, bring them all back for you, that's And right. I had to lower them down in a bucket. <laughs> well, I couldn't carry them down the ladder. No, no. You know, there no. Were too many of them, so we had to lower them down in the Well, are you here for the opening today, are you? No, what's oh. the opening? What they well, opening? the official opening of the, um, under the new management. Oh, well, there. Six o'clock. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I've just got my train. All right. From Minehead. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why do they get free wine or something like that? Well, it's a bit of a mystery. It's taking place, they said, on the bridge. Now, I'm trying to work out what they mean by the bridge. And uh, I don't think if they mean over there, you won't be able to get very close, but... Yeah. Perhaps they're going to um, amplify it all and... Uh, well, go and ask them in the marina group. <laughs> they ought to know us, right. Of course, they're working hard to try and get rid of all this mud, but it's a heck of a job. Yeah, yeah. But I think the new owners have done a better job than the old people that were here for years and did virtually nothing. Yeah, just took the money. Yeah.
There's a few boats here that have been built for a while, haven't they? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Though in the earlier days this used to be almost 100% full, but now there's lots of empty spaces. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a boat these days? No, I'm no. too old for it. I gave up. I had a 33-foot catamaran. Oh, wow. Mm. Took it to the uh, Caribbean and back. Well done. <laughs> sailed out of Cardiff, because I lived in Cardiff. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I bet you missed that though, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I bought a motor caravan instead. All right, oh, that's not bad. Well, it, if they're a good one. <laughs> You know, it gets dangerous um, after a while, you know. Uh, yeah, you can't make a mistake at sea, can you? Well, that's right, um, especially on your own. Oh, you did it all on your own, too? Oh, I did, yeah. Gosh. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's a great mental exercise. You have to think not just one step ahead, but no. two or three. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I quite enjoy it. You know there's a special train coming in in, a, in about an hour. If you wanted to see a double-headed train. Oh, is it? Yeah, I can see the times I've got down here. Oh, well, about two o'clock. Two o'clock? Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's alright, because I'm leaving about three. All right, yeah, that's a, it's an unusual one because they apparently are either having buses or coaches to take people on to Minehead because they can't cross the road into my end now? Yes, it, that I had, I picked up, they got some vintage buses in that's my right, That's right, that's right. Take them to Dunster. Yeah. And you get on at Dunster station. Well, they're doing something similar, but from here today, I thought, well, they can't use those same buses because they're only no. used down there. Yeah. But it might be coaches. We'll have to wait oh, and see what oh, comes oh, in. Oh, well, it's uh, two o'clock, is it? Uh, eight minutes past. Eight minutes past two. And there'll be a train coming from that direction. Yeah. Uh, more while well, I've got it written down here. Or oh, about 20 past. Uh, yes, it'll be this one. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Or oh, another from that direction. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, nice to meet you anyway. Yeah. Well done for you. what you've done in the past. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Won't see that, eh? Hey? Catamaran in the Caribbean. Piloted on your own. Gosh. Yeah, nice lot of flags on that little boat down there. <laughs> More flags than boat. <laughs> right, I better get into position to uh, film this train coming in, I think. <laughs> Got a double header coming in soon, I believe. Yeah, he's double headed to Willard. Yeah. But then they're going to run round to make sure there's one at each end. Yeah. Because it's terminating here. Yeah. And then it's got to go back out again. How are they going to. I know they've been doing that sort of thing at um, Dunster. Yeah, no, this one's. The plan is, according to the weekly operating notice, it's basically double headed because it's, I don't know, 10, nine, ten coaches. Yeah. Um, everybody gets off here, the, they stop at Willerton, the lead engine, whichever one that is, on the or yeah. box group, will run round to the other end. So they come in top and tail, but we'll steam at both ends, which is unusual. I'll say, yeah. And then uh, when everybody's got off, we'll steam at that end, we'll pull it back into uh, Willerton. Then I presume they will couple up again and go double headed all the way back down to BL. Right. And then we've got a couple of service trains and then they'll do the same thing and come back to pick them up about, I forgot to look at, about half past five I think. And how are the passengers getting on to, to Minehead then? Seven coaches turning up on Seven? Yeah. Gosh. Seven running. <laughs> what the fuck? Because it wasn't certain when they were making all these arrangements whether, um, basically, they can either go on to Minehead or they can go to Dunster. Or they can stay here. Yeah. And 
and they weren't asked to take that decision All right. before the train left. Right. So they've got to provide enough coaches to take all of them behind them if they want to. Wow. No, no, no. So some of the coaches will be going to Minehead, some are going to Dunstan, some yeah. will just go home. Oh, and who's going to supply the coaches then? I don't know. No. no. We don't have anything to do with that. No, no, the, no. The charter company. Oh, I see. They're laying those on. Yeah, they do. Yeah. All right. All we know is that they're coming. Yeah. They're not going to try and get in your little car park, are they? No, it's not our car park. <laughs> we, uh, we've, we've reserved the two coach bays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The owners locked those up for us, so two will go in there. Yeah. So at least five. <laughs> Should make some interesting video anyway, thank you. Yeah, probably will. <laughs> nice to see so many people getting off at Watch It though, isn't it really? Well, we have had it. I remember I was here once. We had 550 people getting off once. Yeah. When it was uh, completely full train and it was yeah. a I know they laid on that special train from BL, didn't they, in the evening? Yeah, yes. <laughs> I think this is the last service coming in now before the car coming. Right, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I don't recognise that whistle. Have you done before? Yeah. Hi, Dan.
Yeah, we're going to go to the Yeah, we're going to go to the Got a couple of parking spaces for coaches, but only two, so interesting to see how we get on later when they turn up. That's the first of the coaches making use of this space. Well, I can't go over it. Where the others are going to go, we don't know. Sure, there will be many more than uh, you can get in that one coach, I'm sure. <laughs> Must be another one coming as well. So what, um, they go to board in all the coaches from the back here. Well, yeah. well, I heard it was as many as half a dozen coaches. But once they fill that up, I don't know where they're going to go. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. take fifty on. Yeah. That's a normal service bus, I imagine. It'd be interesting to see what else turns out. Eight minutes before the train is here, and there's only one coach here so far. should see it pass by the church in the moment if there is any more coaches, if there are any more coaches. It could be they've got had more of an up-to-date uh, count of the number of passengers who want to go on. Uh, up to a maximum of half a dozen coaches perhaps. Perhaps there's only, well, perhaps there's only two coaches required. That's about 100 people. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Right, that coach is switched down. Lucy's here in plenty of time. Quite a few staff members on Watchet uh, Station. No general public, of course, because they can't get on this train. It's just the staff there and interested people like myself. There's a few behind me also waiting to see the train. Going in a way that the coaches, one coach at least, has turned up. So that probably means that the mainline excursion has arrived at BL as expected. In theory, it should, in theory, it should be here within five minutes. But I'm surprised there's only one coach. Uh, General Bims told me the train is, is delayed. It's not even at Willerton yet, so it's going to be at least another 10 minutes, even if it arrived at Willerton, at Willerton now. <laughs> 11 coaches on the train anyway, and he's saying he thinks that length of train will run right over the level crossing, so people won't be able to get off and go down that way. They'll have to go over the bridge. Might be as well if I go up that end of the platform, because I want to see all these people get off the train. <laughs> Okay. 
Right, so it's at least a quarter of an hour behind time. Yeah, there's quite a crowd here of people to film it. Right, there are some old coaches turning up now over there. The blue one is now behind those trees. Another red list behind that. And another red coach just turning to us turning up. Also under the red list name. I've never seen a red red loose coats before. These are red and white and grey. I think one wants a rush start, so you want to get those people clear of the crossing. I'm here, I should be away from the flow, which will all be down there. And just coaches are backing up now. Oh, another coach coming in as well. I've got some white one this time. Probably ideally down that end of the crossing if they could park there. One, two, three. Certainly at four coaches at very least. <laughs> coaches on the land, coaches on the tracks. <laughs> and then another one back there, gosh. No, he won't be able to get around until he's just right out of the way. So 28. We once had a classic bus running day in Watch It a few years back. I've never seen so many buses in what it is right currently. <laughs> Might even be more queuing up to get in. I think I hear it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just do all right. Box cut, manner. Because that was double headed to Wellington. At Wellington, the other engine went round to the back of the train and you'll find it attached at the rear of this train now. Coach is clear the crossing. There's the other loco. Yeah, by the speed it's going, it should clear that crossing all right. Yeah, just Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So far, so good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, could you move from there? You're blocking the car. Other people come.
That's here and there. It's going to be more a case of people are still coming off this side and the same off the ground. Okay. You can visually or verbally tell people to stop on that side, but this side, yeah. there's still people coming off the train. I won't stop them yet. I'll just nip over if that's okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 